Hi, I'm VOA Press Freedom reporter Cristina Caicedo Smith. Here are the top stories this week. Let me be very clear the adoption of the foreign agents law, as well as continued repression against Georgia's civil society, will stop Georgia's further progress on EU and NATO path. As Georgia's foreign agent bill passes its third round of voting, protests spread. The proposed legislation will require organizations with more than 20% of funding from foreign sources to register. Journalists covering the protests report receiving threats and the Media Development Foundation office says vandals put up posters that accuse its director of being a foreign agent. A citizen journalist imprisoned for more than four years in China is due to be released this week, but her lawyer says journalist Zhang Zhan cannot be located. Zhang was one of the first people to report on the coronavirus pandemic. Just outside the nation's capital, high school students are helping a local newspaper keep the news flowing. The Montgomery County Sentinel struggled during the pandemic, and the print version ceased publication in 2020. But partnerships with students, including at Walter Johnson High School, have helped the online paper and the young journalists. For a publisher to take our work seriously and to acknowledge that what we're doing is the real deal, it really does mean a lot for me. For more, visit voanews.com forward slash press freedom.